Hey y'all, it's gonna be a what's all video and it starts right now. All right guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Julian, also the Beard Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. I do this full time, it's my full time job. I basically buy stuff low and sell it for market value on places like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace and local pickups. Today is gonna be all eBay, it's gonna be 20 what's all for me in the last couple of days. I will try to tell you exactly how much I paid for them and how long they took to actually sell online. Also, if you are new to the channel, welcome. This is a reselling channel. If you want to, go watch some of my other videos. And if you do like the content, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, and give me a like it because it does help the channel and I much appreciate it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the very first one. The first one is probably I've had it for a year and a half. This is a vintage Diamond Starter Atlanta Braves Embroider Jacket Large to go for only $17 in the buyer did pay shipping. Again, it took like 18 months to sell. It sold on a 10% off sale, and I'm glad to see that one gone. This one here is a Dunlop, and Dunlop is not a really good brand to pick up, to be honest with you. But this was a FZ18 oversized driving iron with a graphite shaft, right-handed club. They go for $22.41 in the buyer did pay shipping on this. Again, Dunlop, not really a good brand to pick up, but their driving irons sometimes do sell pretty good. Most likely this came in a bulk buy, so nothing like actually into this because I don't usually pick up Dunlop, um, that brand, at the thrift store for $3. This is going to be an old belt buckle Western cowboy. Looking back, I've had this for a really long time too. Should have probably put a little bit more, I don't know, like keywords in there. Belt buckle Western cowboy. I could have done a little bit better, right? Maybe that's why I took like a year to sell. This one for $16.11 and the buyer did pay shipping. I probably picked that up at a auction for super, super cheap because I usually don't pick up belt buckles anymore unless they're like rare or there's something special about them. This tailor-made Firestone, not Firestone, that's the tire. This is a tailor-made Fire Soul nickel steel number no. seven iron with the bubble shaft R80. I always talk about these bubble shafts. There's an R80 and you know, like an S90. The S90 sells for me a little bit better, but the R80 still sells. This one sold for $16.20 and in the buyer to pay shipping. Got that for $3 at a Goodwill. These are here some Bonnie Tools 3H Drive Flare Nut Crow's Foot. So that type of tool right there is called a Crow's Foot. This was made in the United States. And they sold for $39 and the buyer did pay shipping. I'm only the good on those, but when I picked them up, I picked them up for a couple of bucks at a yard sale. Uh, any type of like specialty tool like that, older, made in the United States, I usually try to pick up for a couple bucks at a yard sale because it always does sell pretty good. All right, so right here is going to be a Titleist Golf DCI Iron Set 3 through Pitching Wedge plus a Sand Wedge. They did have a steel shafts on it. Uh, Right-handed club says read, I'm guessing, because of condition issues. I picked them up for only like 10 bucks. They sold for $75 with no shipping. What happened here was a guy was in Chicago. His parents lived in Myrtle Beach. And he said, hey, he had only two feedback. So I was like, uh, I don't know if this is going to work out. But it, it did work out. So he said, um, hey, can my parents actually come pick these up? And I was like, yeah, let me switch it to pick up only or, or pick up. That would be an option because there's an option on eBay to say, you know, local pickup. Uh, when you do that, they send the buyer a scan or a code that the seller, me, has to either scan on my phone in the eBay app or put the code in. And uh, so I was like, listen, if we do this, you have to send your parents the code or the scan on the from your email to make this work. He said, no problem. So he bought it, met the parents at the meeting point. They had the scan. It worked perfectly. I actually do put that on some of my stuff. And most of the time, people will say, hey, I'm in Myrtle Beach. Can I buy this golf club and pick it up locally? And I've actually had probably about one a month that do that. So not too bad there. Uh, just a little thing. Make sure when you do it, though, you scan that thing or you actually type in the code because it does, you know, confirm with eBay that they did pick up the item. This one right here is going to be Adam's Tight Lies Strong 7. I have to say the Adam's Tight Lies uh, 3 wood is not really selling for me that well. The things that sell fast on these are going to be the Strong 7 and the 5. And this one went for $20 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. Picked it up at $3 at a Goodwill, so not bad. This is a pressure cooker. It was a 6 liter stainless steel. It is. It was very big. I mean, we're talking, it was big pressure cooker. And uh, I picked it up for $15 at a Goodwill. Ended up selling for $45 plus shipping. I thought I could hold out for a little bit more, but how much more? You know, maybe $55 or whatever. So somebody offered me $45. I was going to make a, you know, $30. $30, $25 profit real quick. And you know, stuff like that's hard to break. So I'm always like, yeah, just wrapped it up, put it in a box, shipped it out, good to go. 
This one right here is going to be a slot line cigar putter. Thank you, Ryan, for purchasing. He is a viewer and much appreciated that. Hopefully, you will enjoy this putter. It was really cool. I actually picked it up because it was a cool putter. It, like They call it the scar butter because it's like round and, and a cylinder. and It's just really cool looking, so hopefully, you enjoy it. and uh, I do appreciate the purchase. This one right here is going to be a New Air Angels 940 cap adjustable dark gray. This one for $14.39. The buyer did pay shipping. Picked it up for $2 at a Goodwill or a uh, hat buy. So not bad. This one right here, I always talk about pen reels. And if there is gold on a pen reel, you want to comp it out, right? If you can see right there, the lettering pen is going to be in gold writing. Some reels are completely gold. This one right here has like gold on it right so you always want to see if they're made if they have gold on them just comp it out because usually that means that they are worth a little bit more money because that's their higher end color they have like reds and blues and silvers and a whole bunch of other colors that they use but usually if there's gold on it you want to go ahead and comp it out not all of them are going to be worth a ton of money but usually that's an indicator it's a little bit higher end one so this one right here is going to be a pen gld32 this the reason why this one for so much money it is a two speed has a little button on the side that you push that cranks it into a different gear and this one for 208 dollars and 90 cents and he did pay shipping who bought this and i picked up for 33 dollars in a big bulk buy down in charleston the thing is is that i'm good on that one then so it's gonna be pure profit all right so this one is another brand i usually don't pick up but uh, I comped it out when I was in the store. And I was like, ah, I bet you I can make some money on it. Picked it up for $3 at a Goodwill. This is a Knight Billy Club driving iron, firm graphite shaft. It needed a grip even and went for $18 and the buyer did pay shipping. Driving irons are like number one irons and they do sell for me pretty good because I'm actually out of them. I think that's going to be my last driving iron. This TaylorMade R580 Men's S-Flex. Again, you see me talk about S Flex, R Flex, just Google that stuff. But stiff flex, that's what that means. Stiff flex, regular flex. There's a ladies flex, there's like an extra stiff flex. There's a whole bunch of different out ones out there. But it seems to me that the senior flex and the stiff flex goes the fastest for me. This one's going to be a stiff flex. This is a five void and it went for 40 bucks with the head cover plus shipping. And that one went overseas. And that I'm already good on. Picked that up for a couple bucks at a yard sale. This Callaway X5 Hybrid 27 degree went for $49.99 and the buyer did pay shipping on that. I picked that up in a bulk buy not too long ago. I paid like I think $75 for the entire bag and this was in the bag but I had already made my money back on some other stuff in the bag so that's going to be pure profit. This TaylorMade Rosa Mallet Putter. I actually took this out. And uh, played the other day. Me and Caleb played a couple par threes and stuff. And I was using this putter. And I actually didn't like it because it was too short for me. And uh, it had a really nice grip on it. I do like those super stroke grips. They, I, they're like little thicker grips or whatever. And I do like that. But uh, it was a good putter. I just thought it was too short. But it did go for $109. And the fire did pay shipping. I've had this thing for actually a really long time. Thought that was going to sell a little bit faster. I picked it up in a bulk buy probably six months ago. But I'm already in the good on that. So not too bad there. This is a macro titanium digital video wide lens. Did go for only $5. The buyer did pay shipping. I'm in the good on that. Took like probably more than a year to sell. This is a tailor-made golf six-way component golf bag. It, this was, you can tell by the picture, it is heavily faded. Like I, to be honest with you, I listed this a long time ago when I was trying to list everything. I probably now would have probably just sold this locally or use this myself or something because it was in really rough shape. But the buyer paid $31.50 and they paid shipping on it and it's already there. And so far, so good on the reviews. This is going to be a vintage USA Craftsman V series. V is my favorite one to actually uh, sell. And it was a half inch deep socket, half inch drive, six point to go for $5.40. The buyer did pay shipping. That's just one socket. I always say they, they are long tail items, but once you list them, you can list like a hundred literally in a day. You really can. And once you list them, there, it's just like passive income at that point because they sell off slowly through like the six months or a year that's in there, but it's still not that bad. You should make about five to six dollars a socket if they're the right sockets, of course. And this one right here is gonna be a vintage CS Osborne Ripper Chisel. Did go for seven dollars. The buyer did pay shipping. I have probably twenty five cents into that at a yard sale a long time ago. This one right here is gonna be a vintage Martin Model sixty one single action fly fishing reel. Did go for $20 and the buyer did pay shipping made in the United States. 
I'm still trying to figure out these fly fishing reels. I'm really not good at them yet. So I, all I do when I see when I comp it out, I actually there before picking it up. I just don't know the brand names yet, but uh, I am working on it. I know Orvis would probably be a big one because they are a big brand anyway, but, uh, but I'm still trying to learn on that. I always like to do these videos so you guys can see what I'm selling so you can go out there, find some of these items, flip them for yourself, and make some money. I do appreciate everybody that watches, and you know I'll always catch you on the next one.